All right, this is Beyond the Blue RC1. And today, I'm going to fly my DJI Spark outside for the first time. Not a maiden, I did fly it inside. Flying the horse with my iPhone. I can't really see, I don't know if you can see the, eh, the glare's too much, but anyway. So I'm gonna fly the Spark today outside. Uh, well, you know, something cool about this thing is it seems like it has an internal fan. You can hear it. Pretty cool. So there is a button you push on here to just take off, but I'm going to push both sticks inwards to take off. I like taking off like that better. So uh, take off from the ground, I guess. Start recording. So this is non non sport mode. It's pretty stable. Really stable. I'm flying it, of course, in full manual mode. Because that's how I like to fly. Go up and get some video here. I'll just take some. Pretty easy to fly. Very easy to fly. This, of course, is just regular mode. It's not sport mode. Maybe my last battery, I'll put it in sport mode. That's full tilt. That's as fast as it goes in normal mode. Not that fast, but you don't want it to be that fast. You're taking, you're taking film here. I don't know, I like this thing. It's a good, uh, out there but it's not the most convenient thing to just get up and go. My battery's at 31 percent. I charged this up when I first got all the batteries I should have checked them before I left. So they're all at about 75 percent probably. So I'm gonna bring it in here I think. All right. This will be the second flight of my DGI Spark. I am of course
almost going to take off from right where I'm recording. Here. So we'll activate the motors. Pushing both sticks down and inwards. There it is. Yes. Uh, let's do record. Recording. Going up. Slight breeze today, maybe five mile per hour right now. Hold in position pretty well. I don't know if you can see it up there, but yeah, it's up there in the corner up there. Hold in position very well. Huh? I'm not really that high. How high am I? Meters. I gotta switch that to feet. Uh, it's all positioned very well though. I'm already down 47% battery life. I guess I need to charge these before I come out to the field, right before I come out. But it's all positioned awesomely. There's a breeze and it's about five mile per hour and it's not really pushing it at all. I'll tell you what, I want to get into the sport mode with the next battery. Glad I bought an extra battery. So this is my first flight outside. I'll get more comfortable with it, I'm sure. Uh, 41% battery life. It's definitely not super fast. I'm just flying a line of sight today. And I'm looking at the screen a little bit. Do a 360 here. Thirty-three percent battery life. I, mean, I know how to fly, so I like flying line of sight and just with full control. I just don't trust GPS that much. I mean, it's nice to have it as a backup if you really need it, but yeah, I don't trust it that much. I really. I've been flying for years, planes, helis, quads before they had GPS, so. Great for the beginner, but beyond that, I, use, I use, just use GPS if I get in trouble. Alright, bring it in for landing here. I'm at 27% battery. Alright, my third and last flight. I'm gonna try it in sport mode. See how that goes.
So far, I haven't had a problem with the Wi-Fi. I haven't gone that far out, though, but the Wi-Fi has been pretty good. Let's fire up the motors. Take off. Sport mode. Oh my god, yes. How you doing? Oh yeah. I mean, it's dramatically faster. Look at that. That's full tilt. And it'll, it breaks for you, which is this is cool. My 200 kx don't do that. I gotta do that all by myself. That's pretty awesome. I don't know how I feel about that, but that self-breaking stuff. Get used to it. All right, well, I'm gonna land it here because I'm already at I'm already at 46 percent here. Hey, Aunt Tommy, get a close up of it. Plus, I'm getting low on my camera SD card. Of three minutes remaining. Let's get a close up of this thing. Oh, that self breaking thing is really cool. To have, I don't know if the optical avoidance is. I don't think the optical avoidance is activated when I'm in sport mode. So it's pretty dang close. So yeah, I'm going to say no. That's a lot faster, I think. Seems like it. Two minutes on my SD card on the camera here. Let's see how close I can get. Close, 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 close. Only two landed now. 35% battery right here. Alright, so this is DJI Spark. Maiden flight outside. And I'm liking sport mode. I'm going to use that a lot. So this is Beyond the Blue RC1. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and please subscribe.